Okay, so I know that not everybody in the room is, is comfortable or um, familiar even with, with genomics. And so what I wanted to do before we set out on the next section of the talk is just provide a really brief overview of some of the um, language that we use um, when we talk about genomics, which really at its essence is just genetics on speed. It's just genetics with lots and lots of samples done really, really fast. That's all you really need to know at this, at this point. Um, so I'm going to just talk a little bit about the technologies and make the link between some of the technologies that we're using and um, the technologies that are being used in medicine and particularly in, in um, personalized medicine. That um, what, we're, what we're doing here is not um, really different in many ways to the approaches that are being advocated for personalized medicine. Um, so, just like us, all of the organisms that we're going to talk about today have genes, and those genes then are um, located on chromosomes. And so you're actually going to hear a little bit about um, the chromosomes that sit in our nuclei, but also the genetic information that sits in organelles that are also inside those cells. And those can tell us things about inheritance because those organelles are not uniformly inherited from mom or from dad. So we've got genetic information inside of our nuclei then. We've got these chromosomes which are packed DNA. And if we have lots of time and lots of money and lots of patience, we can actually go through and create a very, very, very fine genetic map of the DNA sequence of all of these chromosomes, and we call this a genome sequence. Um, sometimes we can't always get to a genome sequence with the time or the resources that we have available to us, or sometimes the genomes that we're dealing with are so impossibly large, it's very difficult to get to those. So we can create um, markers then to represent regions of genomes. And so you will hear about some of those markers today. And in some cases, we don't have to sequence an entire genome, but we can sequence the business end of those genomes, and that's the gene sequences, or the representation of those gene sequences, which are the expressed gene sequences. So, um, Throughout our project, we've um, created libraries of express gene sequences. So these are representations of genes in organisms. And for two different organisms, for mountain pine beetle and one of their fungal associates, we have full genome sequences. So much of the very early part of our project then was spent developing these genomic resources. And they serve us for two points. One is not only to know what genes might be involved in a process, but um, through efforts that, that were done here in Alberta, we also looked at establishing the breadth of variation that can happen in genome sequences, and especially in these expressed gene, gene sequences, so that we don't just have what we call a reference sequence for an individual or a small number of individuals representing a group of organisms, but rather um, gene sequences across a range of, of individuals representing um, those species. Okay, so these are our genomic resources that are the base of the genomic technologies. And so, just like I said, genomics is just genetics on speed. It's a high throughput analysis of many, many genes or many, many individuals all at the same time. So some of you who um, maybe have been in renewable resources maybe 15 or 20 years ago uh, might have remembered um, people say in John Dancic, or Bruce Dancic's lab, Francis Ye's lab, with all of their massive gels and being up all the hours of the day and night, running things out on lanes. And it was really tedious and it was really tough and you didn't always get the resolution. So we can do what they did in a matter of a few days or even a few hours using new technologies and we don't have to do them on big instruments, we do them on little teeny tiny instruments. And one of those instruments then is the size of a microscope slide, that's this guy here, this is called a microarray. And on this array then, this particular array, we have 25,000 different gene sequences spotted on a little tiny nanomolar scale. So you can't see these spots with the naked eye, you need a laser actually to see them. 
And so at each spot, we can detect the expression of a particular gene. So the expression then is just a measure of the activity of that gene. So think about it as being a rheostat. We can turn the activity up or we can turn the activity down. And by measuring the activity of a gene, then we have a proxy for what that gene product might be doing in the cell. Is it turned up or is it turned down? Rather than looking at one gene at a time, saying, well, I wonder if this one's doing something. I wonder if that one's doing something. We can look at all of these 25,000 genes all at the same time to say, I wonder what processes are being affected. Because this process might involve these 100 genes or these 500 genes. What's happening to that process? And more importantly, it's like lifting up the lid of a lid of a can or the hood of a car, we can look inside and say, I wonder what processes are being affected that I might not have known about. So it's also a discovery tool, as well as a hypothesis testing tool. So Kathy um, and Felix will be talking a lot about this particular um, genomics technique. It's a technique that allows us to look at the variation that can occur in a particular gene sequence or even outside of a gene sequence within the genome across many, 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 many hundreds or even thousands of individuals all at the same time. And so this is super powerful because this allows us to link genes that have a function, either a known function from what we know already about that gene or from what we can infer from our experiments, to variation in that gene across a landscape, and that can tell us something about differences in those populations between A and between B. So that is just the coolest thing ever, i got to say.